and we're live. Welcome back, mother truckers. Been getting a lot of requests to play a very specific game on this channel, Minecraft, which we did earlier today and Clark Man was into that. He's currently playing Switch right now, playing some Mario Tennis. Fantastic game, I've been playing the heck out of that. But today, we're playing another game that you guys have been requesting, and that's American Truck Simulator. I did a whole lot of setup before this stream because I wanted to try using my wheel for this. And I had to program like everything into this, all of the controls, all of the stuff. And I think I might have it like passable that we might be able to drive and do some jobs in this. I don't know how I'm gonna like turn around when I need to like back a truck in. So we might have to skip that part cause I need to be able to see around it. But I think we're gonna be able to drive this and I'm kind of excited about this cause this is the first time I've used this wheel with the, um, with the PC. I'm not using the shifter, the shifter's still over here. It's all gonna be automatic. Plus I don't wanna be shifting through 18 gears on a truck cause I don't know how that works. And uh, you know, a lot of you guys lately, you've been telling me, Greg, you've been driving too fast. You know, you're a madman out there and we just want you to slow it down. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna be doing some American Truck Simulator. Let me jump over and you guys are gonna have to tell me if the audio and stuff's all jank because I'm not gonna be able to okay. actually, uh, actually, actually tell. Actually switch games. Nice buddy. Not all right. playing Mario 64. What are you playing now? Oh, you're playing Mario 64. All right, let me jump in to this, and hopefully you guys will be able to see it. I just have to get the right window up here. You know, we'll get this eventually. There we go. Now we're in business. You guys should be able to see that screen okay. Again, I'm really going to need your help here on the audio front because I'm going to have no idea what's happening. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see the, see the real deal down here as we steer through it. And we're going to pick a random job and uh, jump into this. Let's see, we've got price per distance. I have like all the really heavy paying jobs up here. Sometimes these are like the double, the double trailers though. This one, frack tanks, dynamite. Yeah, we got a lot of dynamites. I do like this old school truck here, this Kenworth. That's hauling the dynamite from Phoenix to uh, Sierra Vista. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. What's up truckers, welcome to the stream. We're going right across Arizona in this, getting out of California for maybe like our second time. I'm just gonna take that job. Uh, oh crap, I have to finish my current job. I was just practicing. I'm gonna abandon this. I don't I don't think anyone's gonna care. You will have to pay. No, I'm not paying $12,000. Looks like we are, uh, <laughs> looks like we're, we're gonna continue whatever it is that I went into to test this out. God knows how much time I've already wasted and uh, you know, whether it'll actually get there or not, but we'll try it. We'll do the Arizona job next if it's still available. I'm just like sitting here in the middle of the road, I guess. Truck just turned on automatically, which was great. Uh, I can't really look around too much. Um, what I can do is this. I can look to like the left, I can look to the right, and then I can look back center again. So that's about the best that I can do for looking around. And uh, we are just getting smoked out here as we get up to speed. You guys can see the steering wheel is kind of moving too. If anything, it feels a little bit loose, but I think it'll be okay. This will help me keep us in the lane because usually I'm using the controller and it's, uh, he's not so good. Are we all good on audio? Can you guys hear the rumblings of the truck? There, Clark has some sound effects for you if you guys can't hear it. Wow. That's me and Gran Turismo. All right, all right. Let's, let's just, let's just chill here and try to keep this bad boy going. I've got my turn signals map to the, uh, and we are sending it. Map to the shifters that are on the back of the steering wheel here. So I think that should work. I feel like very nervous driving this. This is this feels very different than Gran Turismo, that's for darn sure. But I, I got it on the road. We're turning. As long as I can do this, we can make some money in this game. I just can't back the truck in appropriately. Once I get out here, I'm gonna check the chat. In fact, I think I'm just gonna do a quick little pause here, if I can. Um, right there, that should work. Um, can't hear the game. Okay, okay. We fix it. We fix. Uh, go over here, and then we will uh, we'll crank up the desktop audio. I don't know if that's even gonna work. Hopefully it does. Oh, might be because I had the desktop audio muted. You think that would be a problem? <laughs> okay. All right, now... Now, uh, once the audio starts playing here, guys, if you're watching this in the future, just skip ahead like a couple minutes because like we're gonna we're gonna get this all squared away. This is why I like console gaming. Everything is like already set up for us. Uh, thank you guys for answering though. I really appreciate that. You wouldn't you wouldn't believe how much it means to me to have people answer it when you're like, hey, can, how's the audio? 
and then uh, people actually respond back. It's good. Now you should be able to hear it, hopefully. Hopefully it's not too loud, might be a little too quiet. I might turn down the sensitivity of this steering wheel a little bit. It does look like it's kind of matching what I'm doing. I have no idea even where we're driving to, probably somewhere in California. I'm going 63, uh, which is over speed, and I don't know what my cruise button is, but I could probably set one. Uh, we'll just slow her down a little bit here. We, we don't have anywhere to get too quickly. Oh man, my delivery is right up here. This is wonderful. Alright, let's just slow her down, boys. Slow her down. Slow her down. That's probably where I want to look to my left if I can figure out how to do that. And... Oh, okay, that feels good. The feedback feels good in this. I got a lot of resistance right there. Nice. I got to look forward now, uh, remembering how to do that. Right there. <laughs> we're a little drunk. You know, we're, we're a little tipsy here behind the wheel. We stopped off at the at the bar before we figured this out, so things are a little blurry for me right now. Things are a little, uh, a little sketchy out here. Don't drink and drive, kids. Don't, do don't be like me behind the wheel. Feeling good? I, I'm actually going to do this, but I can't back the truck in because I'd have to like switch views. I don't even know how I would do that. Is this where we're going? Right in here? Look to my, uh, maybe look to my right? Can I look to my right? Oh, it's over here. Nope, that's not it. Uh, this. Yeah, now look into my right. Got a driver right in here. I gotta get used to all these controls, and they move when I turn the steering wheel. Okay, I gotta look for <laughs> Holy smokes, this is a lot to learn. I think I should just stick with controller, but I wanted to do this. Just for funsies, you know? Are we there? Oh crap! I can't. Uh, I can't tell where we're at. Um, do I need to back her up a little bit? Maybe back her up a little bit. Um, this is something else, boys. Can I put her into reverse? I have reverse in here, but I can't back it up. <sighs> Why don't my transmission work let me see what my buttons are for the transmission we go to options this seems maybe overly complicated let's go to keys and buttons what's to put it in reverse maybe i don't even have anything shift up shift down shift and neutral you know those are the buttons that i'm hitting i don't understand why we're having problems here okay let me try something else once I can't actually back the truck up. So what do I do? I see the R like coming up, but then it cancels itself. Maybe I assign that to a different control. Or maybe I just freaking go back to my con my controller, because this is something else. Alright, so what do I want to do? I want to shift down, right? Like, I want to shift down. Why don't we make it this? Joystick button one. Shift up. That button. Shift in neutral. That button. Break and reverse is down. Maybe I can try that too. We'll figure something out. What if I just hit the down arrow? That put me in reverse. Okay, let's just back her up slightly. I must have overshot it. Oh, here comes the rain. I'm supposed to be in reverse! Quit automatically putting me into drive. When I hit... Oh, wait. <gasps> All I have to do is hold the brake in. So lovely. Back her up a little bit more. That's all I had to do. Okay, okay, okay. St stop. I, I can't actually stop the truck. How do you stop the truck when you hold the brake in? It puts you into reverse. I'm going to... Um... Yeah, I can do that, right? I can go up here and take a right. Or should I just say, sorry, I'm in a hurry. I'll try that. Okay, okay. St stop backing up. Let me center my view. Where are we parking this baby? I'm assuming, uh, assuming right over here. I can always skip out of this if I have to. Uh, look. I want to look to my, uh, oh, there we go. This is much harder than you'd imagine, guys. Frick. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do this! 
I was kind of there. All right, forward. Ain't no way, boy. Forward a little bit. Okay. Okay. We're looking out the the mirror up there, boys. And then. Shit, talking this is. How are you supposed to beat this bomb king? How are you supposed to beat the back end challenge, Clark man? This man with a bomb with a much Okay, um, uh, stop, pick, stop, stop. I was there. I can't off. actually stop my truck. Shoot balls. T. T. No! I gotta be ready on the T. Spill the T. Oh, it just keeps... How about my parking brake? My parking brake still work? This is awful. Did it! Ouch! We did it, boys. That was... How are you supposed to kill this guy? You have to, uh... I think you have to jump on his back. I can't remember. Let me see. You have to let him jump on you? Does he? No, you just I'm not sure. Here, pl play something different, bud. I gotta concentrate on this here. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna look through the chat. How's the game audio now? I, I have to see. Um... No feedback on the game audio. Um, let's try this again, guys. The truck audio. Could you hear it after I fi after I after I fixed it after I turned the mute off? Could you hear it after that? Let me know that, and we'll we'll jump into another one here. Um, yeah, I guess we're good there. I don't I don't like what the truck's doing here, though. I have to fix this. And why is the sun blinding me now? It's literally dumping rain outside. Okay, let's go into the controls. I think maybe there's something in here. Transmission, simple automatic. What's the difference between simple automatic and real automatic? I think I'm gonna go with real automatic. Can't hear it, okay. S checking that off the list. Let's go to part two of the question. Too loud, too quiet. Just right. We get that set up, I think we're in business here, baby. All right, I'm gonna go with real automatic and see if that does anything for me as opposed to simple automatic, because I can't have the truck drifting back and forth like that. I need I need the gas pedal to be the brake, or to be the the, the accelerator, whether I'm going in in, in uh, drive or reverse. I need it to do that. So we'll try it real automatic. I, I wish they'd give me some type of information on what those are. Too quiet from one person. All right, we'll wait for some more feedback to come in. I can crank it a little bit. Let's see here. Yeah, it might be a little too quiet there. I'll turn it up just a little bit. You don't want it too loud though, cause then, you know, it's all you hear is bum, 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 and that's, that's not ideal. Not your ideal situation there. I turned it up ever so slightly. Let's go in, uh, let's try to do another job. Go to the job market. We're trying to make money to buy a truck. We've got 81 stacks right now. I think I need to get like 119 to get my truck. Just right, okay. I'll take it. What was that one that I wanted to do with? I think it was this one. Phoenix to Sierra Vista. Sounds lovely. It's a bit of a bit of a haul there, but we'll take the job. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for the feedback on the on the audio feedback. We'll see if we can drive this truck here. I forget what my button is to uh, turn the truck on. Aha. All right, we're in neutral. Let's see if my, see if my buttons work. Oh wait, I switched them, didn't I? Okay, reverse, neutral. Oh, please. 
I don't know if I, I don't know if this is gonna work. I, I can make I can switch between all the gears. Is this gonna keep me in first gear the whole time? See, look, I can switch through uh, one through uh, eighteen. You can see it there on the dash. You might have to really get your bifocals out to see it. If that's what real if that's what real automatic is, I don't necessarily want that. We'll have to see if the truck shifts up when I pull out of here. Um. We'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, I gotta, I gotta move out a little bit. And um, is there a pole beside me? Or are we good? I think we're good. Okay, let's let's see if the truck shifts up. When can I get a repair, Dad? After this job, bud. I'll throw you on. Okay. Um. Let's try to get the truck out of here. I have this bad feeling that my truck's not going to shift, which I could shift through the gears, I just didn't necessarily want to do that. Yeah, it's definitely not shifting, so i got to switch it back to what it was. Maybe we just got to hit the parking brake. I need to set a control for the parking brake. Are you all good here? Because yeah, that's not going to fly, I don't want to have to be shifting like crazy. I can, though. Let's put her into second. It's maxing out. It's like, I don't even know where to shift a truck at, honestly. Maxing out at third. Maxing out at four, five. Holy smokes, yeah, it's not going to be good for me. Needless to say, I think this will be the last time I use my controller for this game, because this is, as cool as it is, it's, it's added complications to my setup here. Um, let's go back into those options. If anyone has any ideas on what I can do to fix that, I don't, I don't want the uh, real automatic. Is there another one? Simple automatic, but I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Steering sensitivity seems to be pretty good. Um, I had it in simple automatic before, I'm fairly certain. Brake reverse. Down. Anyways, this should get us to our next job. I'm not going to take too much of your time here uh, going through all that nonsense. Okay, here we go, boys. Let's let's do this run, and then Clark Van's going to take over. Turn into the right. Going to try to look to the right. Actually, I want to look to the left, don't I? I want to see if there... I can't even... I can't look far enough to even see if any cars are coming, so... Yes, this is not ideal. While the steering wheel works perfectly for Gran Turismo for this trucking sim... Not so much. Okay, let's do a run. Let's make some money. $81,234. What do we deliver? Dynamite? To Arizona? Is that what's happening right now? I think I got my lights on, too. I thought I figured my lights situation out. I might have switched that, though. I don't know what my lights are anymore. Hopefully we're driving during the day. It's 9.33 a.m., so I think we're okay. I'll have to fix this when I go back to controller. Get it all squared away. Kind of cool though. I like. I definitely like using the wheel better than the keyboard. If I could figure out just a couple things, like that whole reverse thing, I don't like very much. And I want to be able to look around the truck when I'm backing up. And with the controller, you just use the right stick to do that. Like any like first person shooter or whatever it's not too bad but the the gas and brake feel good i feel like i have a lot of control over this like i just stopped that truck right where i wanted to stop it at no problemos sit at this red light here for a bit and then we're probably going to get on the highway up here i already i do have to get over into that lane so we're going to turn signal on and we're going to shift our truck over to the right lane This thing takes a little bit of time to get up to speed. Another red light. Let's see if we can just kind of slow it down. Uh, we're not going to time it right. That guy's just coming in hot. Holy. Hey there, driver. Why don't you slow it down there, driver? We're going to look over at him a little bit. Kind of mean mug him. 
Look around. <laughs> I miss being able to really look around, though. VR is the way to go. That's how it's done in this. Try using your mouse to look around. Oh, I can do that. Yeah, that's a good idea. You can look around like that. Not... I guess it's not too bad. It's just like when I take my hand off to shift. Not too bad. Thank you for the tip there, boss. Truck audio good? Not too loud? I just worry about your guys' eardrums. I want you to have the best audio experience you can have. I'm done asking. Alright, we're going to Tucson, baby. Maybe. I mean, we gotta get up on the highway here. That's... That's step one. Get this baby onto the highway. I'm going right through this. No! Oh. I just lost no. $620. It was a yellow light, man. It was a... <laughs> It was a yellow light. I was gonna go through it. I thought he was gonna go through it. I was just gonna, we were just gonna become one. We were just gonna send right around that turn. Just put $600 of damage onto the truck. I am just right into this guy's paper. <laughs> Not pretty. We desperately need a green light. I, I wanna get away from the scene of the crime. If you guys wanna look around. Look at that, John. Here's the back of the truck. Okay, now we gotta get centered up. And I'm assuming we got a green light. Are we, uh... Are we gonna go here, boss? <laughs> Maybe I'll back her up a little bit. Anybody behind me? I don't even know. I can't see the light. Oh, we got a red. He's going, he's going. Okay, go, go, go. Go! <laughs> I'm mashing the gas over here, boys. I'm freaking sending it on this red light. I don't know why he stayed there. I guess probably because I was wrapped up in the back of his truck. This is going to be an interesting scenario up here, too. I'm just going to kind of full speed it and kind of merge in the best that I can. Because we're going to have trouble. I'll try to look in my mirror the best I can. We're all good. I don't know why I like this game so much. I don't know why you guys like this game so much. Of all the things that I do, for some reason, Minecraft is just wildly popular, of course. But this game is like the next thing. And I always say this when I stream these, that you know, I bought this game fully expecting no one to want to watch this. For some reason, people enjoy it. I guess it's just kind of like, it's kind of relaxing when you're not struggling with controls smash into the back of people's trucks, but it's just kind of fun. Fun doing deliveries and stuff, working towards a goal. Graphically, it definitely um, doesn't hold up to Gran Turismo standards, but I compare a lot to that, including NASCAR Heat 5, which I played last week. There's going to be a video coming out about that. Looks like the speed limit's higher in Arizona too, which is nice. Going 67 and it doesn't seem to be speeding. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna be there in two hours and 44 minutes. Everybody grab your snacks. That's not real time, that's game time, of course. They're a little bit quicker than that. Driving 67, getting passed by the highway driving. I think the only states we have are Arizona and California. I have committed though, if you guys see a Steam sale on Euro Truck Simulator 2, I will play that game. With controller, of course. This will be the last time I use this, the wheel, I think, on this. Um, everybody likes that game more. I just wanted to drive these American trucks in America. I thought it'd be kind of and it has been. I've enjoyed it. 
progress comes slow for sure. I'm definitely doing this the slow way, like I could have taken out a loan, but I'm trying to earn this on my own without borrowing from any banks and paying a ton of interest. I'm going to buy my own truck and be my own man out here on these highways of Arizona. I can't be bought. You can't buy me. See, I'm becoming a trucker, actually. I like the steering wheel controls. I don't have to be messing with the thumbstick so much. I mean, I'm kind of managing it. You can see the thing moving back and forth. So slightly. I'm now going 72. Still no high speed indicator. 75, 76. Okay, we're over at 76. I can't afford another fine. We're already down money on this trip. We gotta take it easy. Cruise control used to be the letter C. Let's see if we can hit the button. Oh, Sugar Shack. I hit the mouse. <gasps> I tried moving my chat out of the way, and then I hit the mouse, and uh, we, we done crashed. I just lost $620 damage, thanks. Lovely. No more worry about cruise control. Let's, just, let's do it the old school way. Oh my gosh. We're down uh, $1,200 driving this route. Not ideal. So slow to get back to speed. I'm now up to uh, 47 miles per hour. Going up, going up a mountain, I guess, a little bit here. And I need to get over because I'm in an exit lane, and I don't think I'm exiting. City in the background. I don't know what city it is. It probably says on this side. Globe. Globe, Arizona. Anybody from there? These shifters feel nice, my gosh. I should probably start playing Gran Turismo with these shifters. Instead of the, um, my regular shifter, but I love it so much. It feels like I'm driving an actual race car. We got something happening over here. Accident. like those turn signals. Feels great. We're getting 4.4 uh, miles per gallon. Is that right? Oh my god. I can't afford to drive this truck anymore. Fuel is too expensive. Alright, what's going on here? I, I've never seen this before. What's happening here? Am I staying? Am I staying here? I guess so, yeah. A little confused by this Arizona highway system. Just send it right around through here. Even if we take a wrong turn, you know, it's just the scenic route. We get to see more of Arizona, which is lovely. El Paso! Where am I going to Tucson, or is that where I was coming from? I can't even remember where I'm going. I don't remember these Arizona locations. Oh, there's a truck dealer back there, probably. Should go check that out. Maybe once I have the money. I just discovered Tucson. We're still an hour, 16 minutes away from our destination. Passing by Valencia Road. I'm driving a Kenworth truck, if you guys are wondering. That's what this beast is that I'm hauling around here. It's a dirty old Kenworth. Smooth sailing here. Got a car coming up along me. We're driving 61, well under the speed limit. Probably give her a little more gas. Cows? You guys want to see cows? Nope. I just shut my truck off. <laughs> Trying to look right, I shut my truck off. Oh my gosh. Okay, no dinking around here. Try to put on a show, and you know what happens? Bad stuff. Right, Clark? Yeah. We're playing Sonic. You're gonna take the next delivery after this. Yeah. Okay. Where are 
you want to drive to. You want to do milk delivery? Yeah, All right. even though I did want to um, do one again because I love milk so much, I appreciate cows. I just passed by some cows. We could have stopped right off there and uh, picked it up firsthand. Don't do it, tails. There's always milk to be delivered, so I'm sure we can find a milk delivery. I think I'm delivering dynamite right now. It's a little bit of a dangerous thing, especially when I've gotten into two accidents. Here's my exit. But we're doing okay. Just minor fender benders. Sierra Vista, that's where I'm going. Sierra Vista. Sounds like a real nice place. Let's uh, get on these brakes so we don't ah, hit this little sedan. That robotic. You settle down over there, boy. He's taking the, you taking the turn on red? Bunny rabbits. You taking turn on red, sir? Okay. I'm afraid the bunny rabbits. Oh, that's my favorite part. Go, where's my horn? He's probably on his cell phone. I'm road raging in uh, American Truck Simulator. Wow, right. when, you, when you turn that, it really turns. Oh, there was a dinosaur thing back there, Clark. I'm going through the yellow light. No wonder. Oh, don't, don't give me a fine. Just ran a red light. Felt like it was going to be yellow a little bit longer. All right, we're 35 minutes out from our destination. 26 miles. This guy's getting impatient. Just like me when I was sitting behind him when he was sitting at the green light. Ah. sky back there, Clark. The sky's kind of moving. I kind of love that. You can see it a little bit in the clouds. It feels kind of realistic. Kind of purdy. What do you guys think of Arizona? Do you like it better than California? It's a little, uh, a little more deserty. Beautiful mountains in the background. Definitely less populated, less cities that I'm coming across. Just me and my truck. I love these old school ones. I am going to slow it down. I don't know if I want to make a pass on this guy. I might actually. If we can get around him, like I said. We're going to be on this for another uh, 17 minutes, so we got some time. Maybe we don't, though. I don't know. Maybe I should. Oh, I'm gonna probably miss my spot here. I better. Uh, I better get back. Get back in line. Okay, he's doing the same thing I'm doing. Apparently. Looks like we're just staying straight here. That was probably good because there is a red light coming up. I would have been like full sending it right beside him, and then bad things would have happened. You know what? It didn't go into reverse here. That's kind of nice. Maybe it knows. Because I have my foot on the brake, no reverse. I like it. Oh, I can read the chat messages here. Um, and Chanel wants to know if this game can help her get over anxiety with driving. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> this is... This definitely isn't stress-free, driving a big rig. But there's no consequences. You could, uh, we just discovered Sierra Vista. You can make all kinds of mistakes and crashes. I've already gotten into two accidents. It's only cost me $1,200 of virtual money, of which I'll be making back during this run. Another red light. We've been cursed with the red light gods today. Could be a good, nice little driving simulator. There's probably other ones, too. Gran Turismo, that game will uh, get you going. Uh, Matt wants to know why he's getting a warning for sharing laughing face. Nightbot works in mysterious ways. I don't think it really makes a difference, though. Hey, Fuggers is in the house. What's up, man? Hey, Kyle. Kyle wants to be a mother trucker. You can tell. Yeah. He's he's all about that life. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Stone cold. Stone cold Kyle. Stone cold Kyle. What we got passing us here? 
All right. We're almost to our destination here in Sierra Vista. It's a... It's a town, you know? It's got a little strip mall here to the side. Little strip mall. I'm definitely not back in this truck in Clark Man. When we get there, it's just a matter of putting it in the parking lot and taking my money. Police? Police. Act normal, Clark. Act normal. He doesn't know that I got into two car accidents on the way here. I should have my... CDL strip for me, probably, for what I've done. Oh, wow, am I just going to drive right into this place? Are we all going there right now? Oh, we're going, we're going too fast. We're in the thick water. Oh, that's the worst, worst thing. No, no, no. It's so bad. So oh, bad. crap, I need to be in this lane. I want to drown. That's right. Turn All right, here we go. Yellow light, we're clear. What is this place even? I'm going right to the desert. Oh my gosh. I think I'm delivering uh, packages to Walter White out here. Alright, here it is. Um, I'm, I'm gonna just like... Uh, press handle John delivery. Alright. Where do you need it? What's this look like? Oh, heck no. Look at this, buddy. I'm not dead. Oh, you're dead. That's okay, because you're coming up driving right now. There's no way I can get that truck over there. If I was driving on controller, I would definitely do that. Can I sit in your chair? Yeah, yeah, you're going to be driving. Look at that. Hey, so I'm in like a... There's like a... Down. Bruh. There's like a uh, junkyard here or something. So I'm just going to say sorry. I'm in a hurry for now, because we can't do that. So I'm going to confirm. I'm going to hurry. How much money did we get for that run? 6900 bucks. I lost $1,200 during the run. And uh, we are almost to level 7, which is great. Oh, All right, so let's find Clark Man a job to do. The, the guy you're playing as looks like Pat. No, that's me. You guys want to see... No, that does not look like you. <laughs> he does. Yeah, it why is there white hair? You have brown hair, bro. <laughs> I look like... He's my spirit animal. If you guys want to know what Clark Man's talking about, look in the top right corner. That's my avatar. I feel like that's my guy. When the, I was, man, the man with the beard. Just like when I played NASCAR, I was looking at that, and I was like, this is my guy, the Unabomber, and this old guy, Trucker, that's who I want to be in the future. He's like my hero. All right, let's... Uh, what? Yeah, let's go hey, into... Hey, I'm your hero, bro. You're my hero, Clark Man. Let's go into quick job. Woo! And you want to deliver milk, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, let's see here. Milk, please. Um, frack tank, harvester, propane. These are all like the big paying jobs. Ethane, fireworks, dynamite, bulldozer, tractors. Let's go, um, let's go to the low paying jobs once. And I bet there will be something there delivering milk. Wood shavings, limestone, potatoes, salt, used packaging. Car parts, more car parts, paint, dry milk. Would that count? Dry milk? It's like powdered milk. No. You want legit milk? Yeah. How about fro how about toy oh here's milk. From Phoenix to yeah. uh Ehrenberg, Arizona? Yeah. Twenty four hundred bucks, Clark man. You promise not to lose more money than that. Yeah. Alright, Clark's taking over for the for the job. I'm gonna walk you through this, buddy. No. You guys ready for this? First man do his job. Oh, oh. okay. Switch seats. You're not gonna be able to sit in this one. Get out of that chair and sit in that chair. We're gonna rotate our chairs around so Clark Man can touch the pedals. Oh please. This is what they call a Chinese fire drill. All right. You want to be the one to start the truck up? You already did. Okay. Um, where are you at? Okay. Go straight. Go straight up here. And then you're gonna go around this turn. You gotta hit the brake. Keep it wide, keep it wide. Wider. Hit the brake, buddy. This is the brake in the middle. You're taking a right here. Oh. Buddy! I'm itchy. You can't be itchy. <laughs> it, itchy, 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 itchy. Also, you like are moving this whole thing right off the table. So we're gonna tighten it's that. It's not in there. It was good the whole time I was driving it. Because you weren't. All right, like... hold on. I gotta get you backed up here. Before you get fired here. Because I'm going to fire you, probably. Heart. How do I back this truck up? I'm going to be late. Can you? I, um... Yeah, hold in the... 
Holding the brake? Okay. My golly, what a We gotta just get Clark onto the road. Alright, this is your road, okay? Okay. Do you remember how to drive? Yes. Can you hit those pedals? Keep it on that side. When you get out here, you're gonna take a right. You see your GPS down here? All right, we're in business. Get it on the right side of the road. Your, your turn signals are these. Stop, out here. Clark's using both of his feet. Okay, you're taking a right. Do you know how to do that? You got cars coming too, so just be careful. Really turn that wheel, boss. Oh, heck yeah. Not too much though, because you don't want the trailer to hit. Okay, excellent. Get in your lane. Okay. Take, take it nice and easy around these turns because it's going to get a little wild. Get a little wild. Andy says parking is a part of the fun. It is if you're not on a steering wheel. I, I would definitely love to take that on. We got Clark Man on the wheel right now. He's driving to. Where were we going? Somewhere in Arizona. I don't even know how to say what the town was. Nope, you're lane, buddy. Whoops. You're still driving in the wrong lane, my guy. This is this isn't Gran Turismo. All right, brake, brake, brake that. Break. Holy, bud! That's How have you not hit anything yet? I'm just shot. Don't go full on on the gas either. Just light, just light, just light, tappy tap. You'll be good to go. Get in your lane. You got a truck coming at you. Oh, hey, brother. You know, I was thinking about this earlier in the shower today, and I was thinking, like, I'm pretty confident in Clark Man driving when he's 16 because he has all this practice and he's not too bad for a seven-year-old like he's he's driving an 18 wheeler in this game we've had one one minor issue so far nice and easy on the on the wheel okay Sorry, I'm cold. just a little easy you're cold you're out in arizona man how are you cold <laughs> That's all Janelle says that you drive like she would. Thousands of gallons of milk all over the bridge back there. Okay, hey, you're working for me right now. You're my driver. I'm gonna have I'm gonna pull you over. Keep it on the road. You're staying straight on here, okay? Clark! All right, put your foot on the gas. All right, go ahead. Put your foot, keep, take your foot off the brake. Put on the gas now. Give it a, give it a, a lift up and then a hit. There you go. We're on, we're in business now. You uh really fishtailed that bad boy, jackknifed it or whatever they say. Jackknife. That was a jackknife if I've ever seen one. Before. You gonna get this thing to its destination, Clark Mans? Yeah. Yeah, Saturday. Alright. That's that's probably not the way, Clark. This is the way. <laughs> You're taking the exit up here. Do you know how to turn this the turn signal on? Right off of here. And then you're gonna take a like the loop up around. So stay in the uh, get in the left lane. This. Get in the left lane. Okay. Uh, brake. Hit the brakes. Because you're going to go around this too darn fast. You're doing good, buddy. You're merging onto traffic up here, okay? So, what do you want to do when you're merging into traffic? What, what, do you, what turn signal do you want to put on here? You're coming into the left lane. What turns here? Excellent. Get right in the middle lane there, boss. Right in the middle lane. Okay, now turn your turn signal off. So you hit that again. Ooh, -hoo, good job, man. You're doing it, Clark. Okay. You're scaring the living bejesus out of me, but you're doing it. You're going to flip our trailer. You look at the rearview mirrors, bro. Oh, my God. Hey, Brad's cheering you on, Clark. He says, go, Clark, man, go. 
<laughs> not, not like that. <laughs> Keep her on the road there, boss. <laughs> Keep it on the road there, driver. <laughs> I'm going 90 miles per hour. Oh, why do we pick one that's 111 miles away? Oh. This is a terrible choice. Wow. Keep it off the wall. <laughs> Keep it off the wall. I should let Clark uh, do like the shortest trip in the history of. You're, you're going too fast. You're going to get busted. For, uh, you're busted. How's you doing, boys? Hey, can you try just driving straight once and see if you can do it. Just, just a little bit. You don't have to like jerk the wheel around. Just a little, little corrections, just like that. Yeah. But when I make my straight lines, I get a little swivelly on my straight lines. I can't make straight lines. Just little corrections. Just little, little, little to the right. Not too much. You don't want to go too much because then you start having to overcorrect and you're going back and forth. Just a little bit. Make sure you stay in that driving lane. You don't want to be going all over in the passing lane because you could have a car come up behind you. You know what happens when they are on the side of you and you went over like that? Boom. Oh, no. My arms have to go. Okay. Let, let go, let go, go get a sweatshirt on. Get your grimy hands off me. Go get a sweatshirt on and we'll try I'm this again. I'm fine. I'm a man, bro. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, one block short drive. I should have searched by like quickest routes. Oh. I just oh, have to drive across oh, oh, oh. the road. <laughs> Clark goes over, turns the truck, and then he's where he needs to be. Instead, he's driving the next freaking 69 miles on this truck. Um, don't lose my gas. Don't go Friday at 3:25 p.m. It's a lovely afternoon Speed here. Speed it. No. Oh, All right. Oh, I'm no. gonna. I'm gonna have to fire you, Clark. I didn't know what I was doing. All right, you've been fired. No, I'm not fired. What are you talking about, man? You've been fired. Uh, I think that truck's uh, destroyed. Officer? Can help, officer? It says visit service. Get your foot off the brake. All right, buddy. I'm gonna kick you out. Okay. No. You want me to kick you? No. Why don't you go get a sweatshirt and I'll drive this thing for a little bit until we get to your destination. No. You already had a jerk. All right, if you're going to drive it, you better keep it in this line right here, okay? Look at that. One-handed, so easy. Okay, you, you, you can't... All right. Pull over. All right, Clark, man. You, you're, you're, you're out. You're done. You're fired. This thing not even on it, the table, bro. It, it works when you don't hang off of it. Like, literally hanging there. <laughs> Alright, come on. Switch. No fair. Do you, if you, do you want to drive the rest of it? I want to, but you are just... Alright, I'm going to try to I'm gonna try to tighten this down the best that I can. Alright, here's the deal. If you're going to drive the rest of it, next accident, you're out. So it gives you something to really work for here, okay? One more accident, and you're fired from... Uh, Greg's Arcade Trucking. No, no, no. Nope. That's not true. Okay, go ahead. One more accident. You have to drive this thing 61 miles with no accidents, okay? No. <sighs> so, the only tips I have for you is don't literally be hanging from the steering wheel and keep it in this lane. Like, that's all you have to do. Like, I'm just doing it with one hand. See? I like to do just like that. Easy. 57 miles, Clark, man. No accidents. You got this. Correct it a little bit. Not too much, though. Correct it a little bit. The other way a little bit. There you go. A little bit. A little bit. Try to keep that white dotted line like right to the side of your, your truck hood. Perfection. Dr. Green's in the house. Welcome, man. Yeah, I think I am going to put Cody in charge of teaching Clark to drive. This is, uh, 
it's causing me high blood pressure and I am actually going to look like my driver in here by the time I'm done. Keep it on the road, boss. You got another accident. I'm going to let you keep going, though. You left the road. You left the road, man. I didn't. You were completely off the road. How did I hit into a truck? He was in the driving lane, too. He was formally behind you until you got off the road. And then that's when the accident happened. Keep it on the road. You're staying straight on it. All right. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Why? Okay, I went to the bar before and started driving, okay? That was my joke. You can't steal a man's jokes. I, I didn't steal your joke. I, I actually... Hey, are you done like wiping your eyes and your mouth and stuff? Because you're going to crash this truck. <laughs> yeah. Our truck damage is like at 50% right now. You see the red line that's going through our truck over there. It's pretty bad. He's got 22 miles left to go. Hey, you passed me. That person survived. Yeah, though. my lord, Sally. They're one of the lucky ones. Speed All right, you're hanging from that again, okay? You don't want to be hanging Speed from this. Speed over this man. Get back here, you yellow bubble bee car. Oh my god, three of my cars are almost going to die. Probably. <laughs> First time we can't do a delivery when... Uh, I think our truck just shut off. It did? I think so. No, it didn't. It did for a second there. Did you hit any buttons at all? No. This truck's just a pile of garbage at this point because Clark wrecked it so bad. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, you got to slow down because we're getting off in an exit up here, okay? This is going to be a, a t difficult one. You see where that hill is up there? Keep going. Thank you're you. going to the top of that hill and you're going to take a left across the overpass. This is going to be the hardest part of your drive so far. So get off the exit here. I'm all right, get off. All right, turn your turn signal on. When you get to the top of this, you got to hit the heavy on the brakes, okay? Like, nothing but brakes when you get to the top of this hill. Right here, stop. Yeah. Ne never mind. Oh, no! Remember that, remember that part I was talking to you about the brakes? Yeah. That I part. was forcing you. Get your foot off the gas, off, off the brake. Now, foot on the gas. Yeah. we got to get through this. Uh, you're, you're hung up on a truck. All right, you're, you're going, you're going. You know why I was telling you about that so early? Because I knew that you probably weren't ever going to hit the brakes the entire time you're going up that hill or any time after. All right, you don't want to hit this truck, so hit the brakes. There you go. Your destination is up here on the left. Keep going. I'll tell you when. It's right in here where this uh, where this spot is. But don't turn yet. This brakes, stop. Oh. Get your, all right, you gotta go. All right, we gotta we gotta get this truck in here. All right. We just got twelve hundred dollars for crashing. Nice. All right, you gotta go. Good job, bud. You got it most of the way there. Nice work. Nice work. That's about as far as you're gonna get. Is this even where we need to be? I think we need to go forward. Oh my god, that was that was nightmarish. Engine malfunction. Come on, baby, just get in there. We just gotta get a little bit further. That was the worst driving I think I've seen Clark Man do. Is this where I'm even supposed to be? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh my god. I think it was the place right next to it. How am I even gonna get out of here now? I don't even care. I just wanna get I just want to get this thing delivered. Oh, there's my spot. I can't do this. Go. I think my truck is like off right now. Come on. Terrible. All right, let's see if I can just turn this as much as I possibly can. But I'm going to hit this thing, probably. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Back up. I can't tell what's even happening with my trailer. It's all hung up.
I mean, what is even going on right now? My trailer is like, all I can see in my rear view is my trailer. Let's, um, crap, I can't even go around the block. Because the map ends here. Or can I? Can I go through this? <laughs> the worst. Let's just try to back up. I definitely lost money on this on this pass. That's for darn sure. And now I can't get out of this at all. I'm so screwed. What a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. My truck is so freaking hung up back there. I just want out. But I don't want to. I don't want to spend the money to um, hit another truck. What a terrible spot to be in. Damage forty-seven percent. <laughs> There's cops. My engine shut off. Worst drive of our career. Here, I got an idea. Please, please be something up here. Please be something inside of this. I can't tell what it is. Oh, this isn't gonna do me any good. But maybe I can back it out and get out of this unscathed. That did, didn't do me very good. Okay, I'm sort of there. I'm sort of there. Just get out of my way, people! Engine malfunction. I'm gonna have to go back and see how much money that I lost on this trap. Incredible amounts. <sighs> nope, I'm in a hurry. Wait. Nope, I'm in a hurry. That was awful. <laughs> we did level up though. What money did I start with before that trip started? Before Clark Man joined in? Let's take a look here. I had 86,000 when I started that trip. And, oh, I can upgrade something. Um, let's do, uh, I'm just gonna be like a hazardous cargo type guy, I think. Just doing all kinds of hazardous stuff. Oh, fuel economy could be good though, too. Once I have my own truck. I can handle poisons, or should I maybe go in some other things? Fragile cargo. Fuel economy, 10% of fuel when driving with a trailer. Hmm. Let's do the just-in-time delivery thing. I think that could be kind of cool. Can I do that? Oh, I have to hit the plus sign here. Get some bonuses and such. How much money? I have eighty-three thousand dollars after doing that job. I had eighty-six nine twelve before I started that. <laughs> that job cost me three thousand dollars to do. That's terrible. Do a job in California, asked Daniel. Yeah, let's do a job in California. You guys still with me? We gotta make some money back, guys. It's we, we can't afford to uh, to have Clark Man running our business into the ground over here. Quick job, back to California, he says. Let's do uh, let's find a really good job. Price per distance. I really hate driving those. I, I've been doing like frack tanks and harvesters like crazy. Let's do something kind of interesting. Here's ethane. 
from uh oh that goes from california to phoenix i'm gonna i'll try to keep one just in california propane i'm gonna pick a cool truck too frack tanks that one's in arizona how about this one right here fresno to uh to bakersfield right up through the middle of california does that work for you guys Now he's saying do one in Reno, Nevada. You got to make your decisions, man. You can't be you can't be picking California then want to do one in Reno, Nevada. Let me see if we have something in Reno, Nevada. Do I even have Nevada on my list? Yeah, we have Nevada. I don't know if I, I don't know if I've even been to Nevada yet. California. These are all California. All of them are California. Here's Carson City. It's pretty close, right? Sawdust panels for eight grand. San Rafael, California to Reno, Nevada. That'll get us out in Nevada. Do we have anything else out there? Fresno, Sierra Vista, San Francisco. Los Angeles, Tucson, Arizona. These are all Arizona. Here's Phoenix to uh, Las Vegas. I'm kind of curious to see what Las Vegas looks like. Vegetables. Let's do it. Let's go Phoenix to Las Vegas. That sounds kind of fire. That sounds like a good job in Flight Simulator. I haven't flown to Las Vegas yet. Be curious to see what it looks like. Maybe we'll switch this over into a flight sim after, after this job, just for funsies. Wouldn't be hard to do. All right. You guys ready to do a good job here? I'm sorry, Clark, man. I mean, a job that turns profit. We're gonna turn our truck on. Daniel, you're done. No more requests for you. You can't make three requests in five minutes then expect me to do them all. You're fired. Fire you just like I fired Clark, man. All right, I gotta get these uh, controls out of, or these wires out of my way. Can I hold them up with an Xbox controller? No. Everything's touching my leg over here. I don't like it. Oh, you know what? I switched seats. That's probably the problem. I'm in this low seat from Clark, man. Don't worry, guys. We'll get all set up here. We'll get all set up here. Then maybe after this, we'll go for a flight in Las Vegas and see what it's like. Can we transition trucking sim into flying sim? I feel like I feel like it's the same audience. What am I going to do about these controls? I don't like it touching my leg. Touching my leg. I need something like here to block it. I don't know if I have anything. That doesn't feel very good. All right, we're good. We all good here? Make sure the stream's still going. How long have we been streaming this? One hour. Holy sh... Nikes. You guys are still watching. Alright. Let us drive. From Phoenix... Where am I... Where am I exiting here? Right here. This is a tricky little... Friggin' snaker here. I can't see behind me, so I just have to kind of wing it. Phoenix... To Las Vegas. Did I have a stop sign there? My bad, bro. That's on me if I had a stop sign. I'm pretty sure I did. Let's see what Vegas is like in this game. I discovered a recruitment agency. You can hire new drivers to work for you. I will do that once I have a, my own setup, my own rig and stuff. I wonder if you have to buy more than one truck to do that. Because right now, I can't even afford one. I just turned the truck off. I gotta get my controls down. Nope, don't back up. Don't back up. I'm pretty sure I had the right away on all these guys. This controller's nothing but drama. I just can't. This wheel, I should say. It's all drama. Big drama. Let's do another run here, make some profit, and let's go for a flight in Las Vegas. You guys down for that? You guys down for a flight today? Saturday afternoon flight? Or are you guys all trucking enthusiasts that just want to see me poorly drive these trucks? It sucks because I love doing the backup jobs too. Like I think that's fun. I like spending 20 minutes trying to back a truck trailer in. 
and I don't have the confidence to do that with this, nor can I actually see around the truck or behind the truck with the wheel. So it was a good experiment. I had fun doing it, but I, not again. This was a, just a one-time one. Don't drive drunk, Clark, man. That's what the sign said up there. And he says, got to keep grinding in this game. Is that in response to my offer to do a flight? We'll do a poll. I think I can do a poll. In fact, I think I can do that right now. Let's, uh, let's just pull it over here real quick. And I will do a, I'll do a poll that hopefully I can do with you guys. Give me one second here. Give me one second. We'll do a poll and let the people vote. Seems like a, a thing to do, right? Oh, I can test the audio now, too. I look very uh, scared when I'm driving. Where am I at? Sitting here, right here. This is a tricky little Craig a snaker here. Yeah, audio is pretty good. All right, create a poll. What next? How do we... Yeah, how do we finish? More trucking? Let's take a flight. There you go. You guys can vote. I'll leave that open until I finish this job, and... You guys let me know what we do. Nothing easier than that, boys. I wish my microphone was a little bit closer. It's the one thing with playing these PC games. Everything's set up for console. If you have a second, vote in the poll. Winner takes it. I have another Kenworth. I've been a Kenworth guy today. You guys know I'm a Peterbilt enthusiast at heart. Oh, crap. It's going to get dark soon, and I don't know my button for my headlights. Let me just check it. As the green light hits, options, what are my headlight buttons? Keys and buttons. Light modes, nothing. I've got nothing for lights. What would be a good button to, to have lights? Does that one work? No? You don't like that one? Did I already sign these to something? I, I'm running out of buttons. Um. High beam headlights. I guess that. This is the drama that comes with. My lights even turn on. I don't see the indicator. Oh well. Hopefully we'll deliver this before it gets dark out, boys. And I don't get busted for not having my lights on. We got 11 votes in the poll. I want to see the other people in the that are watching the stream vote. Unless you're watching on a TV or something, all you can do is click a button. You can decide the future of this stream, or how it'll end, I should say. It's going to be dark. We're going to be driving through the night here on our way to Las Vegas. Maybe we'll see the strip at nighttime, see what it looks like. Going a little fast, 69 miles per hour. 
Slow her down a little bit. Slow her down there, driver. About ready to do a giant loop-de-loop. -loop. And we're going to take a left on to this highway out here. Going to Las Vegas. First time, I think, going to Nevada. I don't know if I've driven to Nevada yet. And I'm not entirely sure whether to thank Daniel or not, because I don't know if this was one he chose or, or it wasn't. It was maybe one of the ones that he chose. Oh gosh, let's, let's slow her down here. It's a little wild getting around this turn. Man was like, can you go to uh, California? Yeah. He's like, actually, can you go to, uh, to Reno? I'm like, yeah. How's Arizona? <laughs> no! We gotta make a left here. 12 votes? You guys are weak. Am I gonna have to refresh this? I see the votes now. Still 12 votes. Pathetic. What are the rest of you guys doing? I, I have to know. I always ask this in my streams. It's like you got all these people watching, but like no one participates. And it's really weird to me. Maybe you're eating dinner. Maybe you're having a delicious hamburger right now and some french fries. And you're just like, Greg, I, I would I'd vote in your poll that you so graciously put up to uh, find out what we wanted. But I, I got things, man. I'm, I'm just like, I am uh, throat deep into this delicious hamburger that I bought. And I, I just can't right now. I'm like, all right, man, I, I feel you. We at least need an odd number of votes, that way we know how, where it stands at. I'm going to have to vote, too, because I'm not signed in on my account, so I can't totally see it. Janelle said she voted, but either is fine. I appreciate that. Much appreciated. All I can do for you guys is just drive you around. We'll fly you around. I don't know, I don't know what else I can do. Little trip to Las Vegas. If we play the flight sim, we can see who does it better. American Truck Simulator or Microsoft Flight Simulator? Who can render a city in the greatest detail? I think we are, might already know who the winner of that one is. Alright. We've got 249 miles. What did I pick? The longest trip ever? Four hours and 16 minutes. Doing well on fuel, so we're all good here. Getting on the highway. We're up to 13 votes. Let's go, somebody came out of the woodwork. Finish their hamburger, they wipe their face off, and they're like, Let's do it, Greg. I don't know what you voted, but I appreciate it. $83,918. Oh, the sunset. It's gonna be gorgeous out here. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. 7.32 p.m. Must be summertime. Sun's still out. Sorry about the high beams, bro. I, I don't know if my, high, my headlights are on or not without the high beams. I guess I'll find out. High beams definitely work. Headlights? Debatable. I don't know. I'm just hitting buttons. I'll know once it gets dark out, I guess, if I have the headlights on or not. 17 votes. You guys are on a freaking rampage now. You better just settle down a little bit. Go back to eating your french fries. Jeez. Just chill. wonder how this would be with NASCAR. Should have thrown that as an option. NASCAR Heat 5 with the steering wheel. Probably have to program the heck out of it to get it to work. That's a pretty simple game, though. There's no turn signals. There's no looking around. It's just a matter of just driving that baby. And we're 
up and see how rates are going higher. Fuel economy is 4.8 miles per gallon. Is that what these trucks get? They get less than 5 miles per gallon of diesel. That's, that's craziness, man. Gosh, we are going right into that sunset. Is that right, though? Should we be going into the sunset? So we're driving. There we go. I got lights. I'm not going to hit the I-beams. We're driving east, aren't we? We should be driving east. Okay, we're good. I got the lights figured out. Easy. We're going 78 miles per hour. I don't want to get fined. Looks like the speed limit might be a little lower in Nevada. Assuming that's where we are. Arizona gives zero fricks, man. They let you drive 75. No problems. Nevada? They don't like that very much. Oh, we got 18 votes. You guys are killing it right now. I'm excited to see what the results are going to be. I, I, I can't see it myself currently, so it'll be a grand reveal to me. What is the speed limit? 65, okay. I can get on it a little bit more. I would put it in cruise, but I'm scared. I'm scared to hit that cruise control because last time I did, I ended up sending us into a wall. Everything's looking good here. You guys can't really see my rear view too much, but I think the I think the view that we have here is pretty darn good. Lift it, Mike. My seating here is kind of awkwardish. Oh my god! Let's get on it, boys. I feel like I'm like very um, upright. You know, when you're when you're driving a car, you're kind of like you're sitting very low. The steering wheel is up higher, but it works. Darkness falls upon us. Two hours, forty-two minutes to delivery. We've got twenty votes now. Holy, holy! Is it going to be a dead tie? Oh, the results are coming in. It's very close right now. According to the chat, 59% on trucking and 41% on flying. Very close, very close. I feel like my truck is just struggling to make it up this hill here. We're hitting a whopping 37 miles per hour. Now we're going downhill. We're going around a loop. Probably hit my... Oh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. High beams on. Makes a bit of a difference. A little bit. Let's take her up around here, boys. I miss this game. I like this. <laughs> I appreciate you... If you're tuning in, I appreciate you watching, because... This is... This is something else. Turn signal on. Oh, shh. Yeesh. We're still good. I'm coming in. I got space. Turn the high beams off. Turn signal off. As our Kenworth trucks its way to Las Vegas. 344 miles to Los Angeles. We've got a long way to go to get to California. in the opposite direction, hopefully. 75 is the speed limit. I'm going 47. 47 miles per hour. I'm up to 49. Let's go. We'll have this thing delivered by the time that I retire. 51. 52. So what other driving games do you guys want to see? Obviously Gran Turismo is a big thing. 
In fact, it was so funny this morning. I did a poll on Clark's Minecraft stream, and I, I did just what I did now. I was like, what game do you guys want to see this afternoon? I, I put GT7, American Truck Simulator, and then uh, a couple other things as well, like NES games and then arcade games. And GT7 was was winning by a good margin. And then like I saw these people typing like, oh, I can't wait to see you play GTA 7. GTA 7. And I'm like, no, it's... GT7, it's Gran Turismo 7, not Grand Theft Auto 7. It's a game that's not even out yet, and it won't be for probably another 10 years. And then I was like, okay, let me rerun this poll with the words Gran Turismo in the title, and American Truck Simulator, and American Truck Simulator 1. So apparently there was a bunch of kids that thought that I'd be playing Grand Theft Auto 7 this afternoon. And I wish I was, honestly. I bet it's going to be a, a, a marvel. It's going to be amazing. But... It's hard to play a game that that isn't out yet. So if you're one of the kids that was really excited to see me play Grand Theft Auto 7, I apologize. We're playing American Truck Simulator now instead. <laughs> I just thought that was kind of funny. And maybe you would think it's funny too. Alright, I can't see Jack Diddle. We're going to come down here. And we are. right here. No idea where we're at. We're still an hour and 41 minutes, 98 miles away from Las Vegas. We'll get there, though. Thank you guys in the chat for helping other people find the answers to their questions. It's hard for me to read it and not crash this truck. I wish I could do better. The pep talk worked, said Andy. Sometimes, I mean, you... You really got to pull teeth on YouTube to get people to uh, participate. It's the reason why every time you watch a video, people are yelling at you to subscribe and like and smash the notifications and all that stuff. Yeah, I, you would think that people would just know, right? But if you make mention of it, and like if I tell you there's a poll and I have to like beat you over the head to try to vote in it, it actually works because I guess people need that kind of uh, you know encouragement or whatever it is. I don't know. It just it baffles me. Like, you would, think, you would think people would just know on YouTube at this point. Like, hey, if I like a video, I'll like it. I don't have to be told every single time I watch a video. That's why I try not to say it unless it's in a joking manner. It's just, it's kind of wild. Like, it's, it's also weird to me. Like, it's very discouraging, like, when I stream sometimes. That you try to engage with people. Like, the whole reason I'm doing this live, I could just not stream this at all or just record this and then make a funny little video out of it if something happens but the whole reason I stream is because it's like we, we can chat and have a good time and go back and forth but when when no one gets involved you really have to ask yourself like what's the point of even doing this like what's the purpose if nobody's going to be in the chat luckily lately I've been seeing that groove quite a bit but I just sometimes I just wonder where the heck everybody is I mean they're watching but like where are they you know like, I, I don't, it's it's either a mixture of people multitasking, doing something else, which is entirely possible and probably well advised. And then maybe it's just like little kids that are watching that they, they can't type. Maybe it's somebody's watching on a TV. Maybe you're walking your dog and watching this. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But it's 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 like pulling teeth to try to get people to engage in a, uh, in a live stream. Very, very... But my, my plan is just keep doing my thing, do what I love to do, and hopefully there's a couple people there, because all it takes is just a few that we can, uh, we can have a good time together. And usually there are. And usually they are uh, they're adults. So, I mean, I, I guess that's the answer. The ones that like watching a guy drive a truck down the Nevada highway at night, those are the ones that usually participate in the chat. And I say all that as I can't actually look at the, uh, at the chat. All right, we're at 63% trucking. We are at 33% flying. That's with 25 people voting now. You guys want to keep on trucking? You mother truckers. It looks like that's what's going to be unless we get enough votes to sway the other way. We're going to be driving this thing to the end. Got one more job in me after this. Somebody's going to have to decide where they want to drive to. 
I will hit the chat though once I deliver this thing. I'm, I'm only 36 miles away now, so we'll hit the chat up, see what the heck you guys have going on, and then we'll do one more job. I just need to know where we're going, what we're hauling. This week in Greg's Arcade nonsense, I'm thinking about jumping back into Red Dead Redemption 2. I feel like playing a single player game. I'm really between that and like a Skyrim type game, and I just feel like I really need to get through Red Dead and experience that game. So I think I'm gonna start playing that. I'm probably gonna get pretty addicted to it. It's definitely a, it's a mature game for sure, so if you got little ones at home, or um, if you are a little one, that might not be the best game for you. The only violence you see in this game is me smashing my fist into my face when I crash the truck or uh, letting out a uh, choice word or two at drivers or myself. But Red Dead is a little, it's a little violent. So something to consider if you want to watch that. But I'm going to play through that and then we'll try to get in some other single player. I still have yet to play Zelda Breath of the Wild. That would probably be a good one to play. I want to play Skyrim. I want to play Fallout New Vegas. I want to play Fallout 4. I haven't played either of those. Fallout 3 was my favorite PlayStation 3 game of all time. Even beat out Grand Theft Auto 4, which is hard to do. I just love the game. I love it. Just be whatever you want to be. Go wherever you want to go. Talk to people. Loot. Find stuff. It's pretty cool. Skyrim is kind of set in like a... I don't know, it's, it's like swords and dragons and things like that. Castle times, I guess. Oh, we just discovered Las Vegas. i got to figure out where the heck I'm going here. Am I going to go down on the strip? Because that'd be kind of cool. doesn't look like I'm getting that close to it, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I can see it in the background there, but we are... We're kind of right in the beginning of Las Vegas. I kind of want to go up and look at it just to see. I am going to need those to see a little bit, though. Uh, Gordon says he's currently getting yelled at by the wife. <laughs> you know? I like that. Gordon's somebody I can always count on. Even during the Gran Turismo streams. They're tough ones to get people into. I did a Gran Turismo highlight video that... I thought it was pretty darn cool. It was one of my like best races I've ever done. That video just freaking tanked. Nobody was interested in watching that. So I guess uh, what people want to see when it comes to Gran Turismo, and I know there's a, an audience for it, they want to see me just drive live, I guess. So unless something like incredibly epic happens during Gran Turismo, I don't think I will be making another like highlight video of Gran Turismo unless there's like just an insane finish or my car like explodes into flames or there's some game breaking glitch or something like that maybe in that case but yeah it was like my worst performing video that I've done in, in a long time oh shoot balls okay we're good here I was like can I, can I even do this let me get this bad boy in I discovered a recruitment agency awesome sauce oh this is weird this is weird. Oh, I just knocked a sign over. They didn't, they didn't hit me on it, though. Am I, am I good here? Do we need to get it over a little bit further? Oh, that sucks. Um, how are we doing here? I can't see Jack, dude. I can see it out my my side view mirror there. So close yet so far. I gotta keep backing up. It's so it's so disorienting. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Oh crap! I backed out of it. Shoot balls. I can't use this anymore. Oh. It it comes up but then it goes away. Come on. Thank the lords. Thank the lords. All right, where, where do they want this thing? Oh, I could totally do that. 15 XP? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Okay, quit backing up. 
let's get the let's get the alignment here. Give give me my uh, give me my forward gear since that's how we're playing this thing. Easy peasy, boys. 15 XP in the bank. Let's get this thing all straightened out here. Take her up on the curb a little bit if we have to. Boy, that's an easy one. Unless they're going to give me sass about it. T. No! I have to be like... I have to be like fully stopped. Okay, I got the plan. Let's go. Seven hours, three minutes, 67 gallons of fuel, 321 miles, made 7,700 bucks, 661 XP, halfway through level seven on my way to level eight. Wow, 91K. All right, let's close the poll, see where you guys stand on this. Let me uh, switch between things here. Uh, end poll. Where do we stack up, boys? See if I can actually see it. Can I see it? What'd the poll end at? Maybe it takes a second. Oh, here we go. All right, so more trucking, 59%. Let's take a flight, 40%. You guys are very split on that on 27 votes. I appreciate you guys all voting. Um, we actually have more people voting that are here now. Um, my, I have a family where my brothers play a lot of Red Dead, so I'm used to it. Okay. So you're not going to be upset then if you see a whole bunch of swearing cowboys and stuff like that and people getting shot. That's good. That's good. Uh, looks like everyone's... We just got updates on the poll. All good there. Thank you guys for that. And uh, I guess we'll go in and do another job. This will be our last job of the night. Make a little bit more money. I got to make enough money to get us over... Can I get us to 100K? I need 83 Three hundred dollars or more. Let's look at the job market. Quick job. I need something. I need something that pays eighty-three hundred. Let me look at price. Let's find something that's that's right around that range, but the shortest distance that we need. That way, I, I can keep this like somewhat reasonable. Maybe we should get a little more money just so we, in case we have an accident or something too. Um. Let's see, this is uh, 2231 per mile. Oh, Phoenix, oh my God, I think, oh. Phoenix, Arizona to Las Vegas all over again. Oh my God, I don't wanna do that. That's what I just did. Better idea. Let's go to uh, price for distance. In this way. That's 1651 per mile. We gotta find perfect job. Perfect job. Sacramento to Eureka. Mixed tank, huh? Here's, here's that one that goes to Reno. We could go Santa Cruz to Reno. That's driving paper. That'd give me just enough money to get to 100k. It's a long drive though. 25 dollars per mile. Mix tank all the way down through California. Yeah, let's do mix tank. I, I don't know what that is. Santa Cruz to Barstow. We'll do a California run. I don't think we. Um, this will put us over 100k. Assuming nothing terrible happens. I don't think we've done a California run in a while. So let's uh, let's take that job. Give it a shot. The more truckers voted. Probably gonna have to do a... Let me, turn, let me, let me check my audio real quick here. I think the audio... I think the game audio is a little too loud in my opinion. In my humble opinion, I think it's just a skosh too loud. Let me see if I can switch that down a little bit. All right, we'll back that down. 
All right, one more run, boys. Can't see a darn thing here. We're going to need some uh, ignition. We're going to need some lights. Maybe some high beams, too. And we're going to be driving through Cali. It's 7.20 a.m. right now, so it should be getting light out here as we drive. One more run for the books. You guys still with me? Are we going to do this? No idea where I'm going. I can't see Jack. Oh, shoot balls. I gotta go out here. Okay, we're good now. We're good. I can see about as much as you guys can. Come out here, and I don't think anybody's gonna be coming. I'll put my turn signal on, though. We're all good. Oh, let's see what we're driving here. Oh, I can't even freaking see it. I'll have to wait until it's light out. I'll show you guys the load. All right, let's get on the highway again here in California this time. Man, that wheel hits at one point and the, the truck just sends it. Am I hung up here? <laughs> Am I hung up? I can see it out my, uh, I think we're okay. I can see it out of my, um, my mirror. We're really tight on that side there. I think we might be snagged. Yeah, just a little bit, we're okay now. I'm hauling one heck of a long load here. Okay, we gotta get in. All good there. Turn the high beams off, even though I still kind of need them. I might keep them on. I can't see Jack Diddley. 319 miles away from having $100,000 in this game. Let's freaking get it. Chris says, let's roll. Oh, Gordon says, let's roll out. Let's roll out and make some money. We're getting 2.9 miles per gallon right now in our truck. I'm excited to hit that $100,000 mark because we are very close to getting our truck. I think it's like 109 or 119, somewhere in that range. Not too far off, man. Not too bad. Next exit we're getting off. I'm going 72. I better chill out a little bit before they cops have a problem with me. And they should. Although my record has been very clean since the incidents uh, of my first run and Clark's run. I think we've been doing pretty good for ourselves. Turn signaling it. We're going to come up here and this is going to be a little sus. Because I can't see Jack. I guess we can look out here. I don't think anybody's coming. I think we're clear. So let's take a left. As a car comes just plowing through, probably. Beauty. I wonder what fuel prices are in, in California. What are we looking at? Actually, pretty accurate. Four thirty-nine a gallon. That's about what it is in Pennsylvania right now. I remember when I first got this game. I thought the fuel prices were really high. Now they're right on. <laughs> not great. Not great. Clark was lucky the cops didn't take his license. Yeah, I know, dude. They should have. I mean, our truck had like the service engine light on. We lost. $3,000 doing that run even after completing it. It was bad news. But today we're about to hit 100k. I better watch my speed. We're at 55. I'm going uh, 61. I don't feel like that's too bad. We'll take it easy though. I'm actually getting pretty hyped about playing some Red Dead though. Screw you, bud. <laughs> he flipped his high beams at me after I turned mine off. Road rage moments. Caught on camera. In 4K. Alright. Los Angeles, here we come. Is that where we're going? I can never remember where I'm driving to. It just they all kind of blend together. It's just like, okay, I'm I'm driving where this red line is.
Nobody on the roads out here. Oh, I'm getting there at 7.36 a.m. on Saturday. It's currently 1.53 a.m. We're not going to see daylight, probably. At least until we get pretty close to getting there. Then we'll see some daylight. I always get the times mixed up. If you look on the bottom right there, the Saturday at 7.36, that's my estimated time that I'll arrive. 267 miles away. Total trip time, 5 hours and 37 minutes from now, I guess. Going a little fast. Can't use cruise control. Sadly. Getting passed by people. Where's the cops when you need them? We play it safe. We can't afford to have any more accidents or anything happen to us during this trip because it's very close. I don't want to be under 100k at the end of this, so we can't make any mistakes. We have to drive clean for the next five hours. Through the night. My guy never sleeps. And why should he? Gordon says, I have not seen much of Red Dead. Interested in seeing the storyline to it. Dude, people are telling me that it's, like, the greatest game they've ever played. Like, life-changing. Uh, some of the moments that you experience in the game are pretty pretty wild. And uh, it's, it's just, like, a full-on... I mean, think of Grand Theft Auto in the Wild West, sort of what it's like. I'm excited to try it out. I played one hour of it. Most of what I did in the first hour was just kind of getting a little bit of storyline, walking around, getting the controls and stuff. And it, I was kind of like, oh man, this is really slow, but I think I need to put the time into it and give it a chance, because it's, it's in a lot of people's like top ten games of all time. In fact, I think I saw a list of like people's favorite open world games, and it was definitely on there. We are, we are pushing real slow here. Let's see if I can pass this guy. I love the original Red Dead Redemption for PlayStation 3. I played that, it was really good. This one's for PS4, but I mean, the graphics today are still very passable. I'll be playing it on PlayStation 5. I don't know if there's any improvements or anything that they do to it to make it amazing. Was there just some, uh, I saw something fly over the head. Was that a comet meteorite? Or was it just a plane or something? There, there goes again, right across the back there, in the sky. No idea what that is. I'm starting to get hypnotized by this, this hypnotic rhythm of the truck. I can't, I can't break myself out of it. But I'm still controlling everything just fine. I'm just kind of hypnotized for a moment. Okay, I'm, I'm free. I'm broken out of it. I'm going 73. I need to chill. Okay, we're okay. On our way to LA. This is LA. I think it was a plane. Okay, I was wondering, dude. Like, to see these random, like, things with tails on them flying past in the sky. I'm gonna try not to lose any money to fines. What's parking behind this guy? Am I gonna take a loan out? No way, man. I'm buying this truck with my own money, so I can have my own company with no interest. We have a situation up here. Looks like somebody's had an accident. Getting pulled over, actually. Oh, man. Police bike there, no, no police officer. Could have been a UFO. So we'll have to go back and watch the tape there and see what it was. There were several of them that were flying overhead. It looked to me like a shooting star, I guess is what you'd call it. Not entirely sure though. Is Area 51 nearby? Um, good question. I'm in California, so I, I think we got a ways to go. Maybe if we we're still in Nevada, we, we might see that. Is 
that where it is? Arizona, Nevada, somewhere out in that range. Never really had any plans to visit Area 51, although there was that hype a while back where everyone was going to storm Area 51. And I don't think anyone really had figured out what they were going to do after that, but it was going to be a thing. I don't think anything... Oh, I had to pull in for a vehicle inspection. At the nearest way station. Okay, is that what this is? Alright. Looks like I have to pull in. I was I was getting scared there. I was like, did I do something wrong? I gotta pull in for a weight check. No problems, no problems. Are we good? Thank you for your cooperation. Have a safe journey. Well, thank you very much. I'm just driving for another guy, so don't blame me. I may not have slept in the last six weeks, but I'm just doing my job. Now I have to somehow get back onto the highway, which is going to be uh, interesting, to say the least. The guy's let me in. Thank you so much, sir. That car let me in. Classy people out here in California. Good drivers. We are 162 miles away from hitting $100,000 in this game. Assuming I don't get busted for, pulling, for uh, speeding. I'd like to know how many hours I have into this game. It seems like a lot for, for what I've accomplished. For having $100,000, it's like, oh my gosh. I feel like I've put probably, this is my sixth episode. I must be 10 hours into this game, right? Maybe more? I think I've only played this when I've been streaming. I don't think I've ever just played this without recording the content. So I guess if I add up all of the live streams, I'll know how long I played for. A long time. Long time, Bricks are. Janelle's hyped. 100k. We're going to be very close to getting our truck. I would say in the next episode we're going to make enough money to get a truck. Just a, just a wee little one. But someone told me you can upgrade them too, so I don't have to worry about getting the one that's all kitted out. I can get just the base model and then we can work our way there. And that would be pretty dang cool. Hype. Getting off up here. Next exit. 4.16 a.m. I'm going to be there at 7.18. I'm making excellent time with my speeding. <laughs> Uh-oh. Alright, slow her down, boys. We are, uh, we're stuck out here a little bit. There's some type of accident or situation up here. I lost a whole bunch of time. I'm now at 727. Son of a biscuit. Can I still get off of this exit, I wonder? I see everybody kind of going around this. Oh, God. Detour? I'm still gonna go, I think. Oh no, I can't. They're, they have that blocked off big time. Okay, we gotta uh, we gotta go around. Of course, it's my exit, right? That's okay. Oh my god, that put us back two hours. Are you kidding me? We're now at 9:11 a.m. We're gonna get there. Holy smokes! Next exit must not be for a little bit. So we're gonna have to backtrack. That's alright. Keeps us driving for a little bit. There's a plane overhead. That's what a plane looks like. That was not a plane that we saw earlier. Totally a UFO. Dude, how far out am I going? Oh, speeding violation. Shoot. There's a cop right behind me. 
I was only going 60. I lost $300. Hopefully we still have enough money coming in. <laughs> it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. I didn't realize that there was cops behind me. This trip's not turning out the best. Was it a shooting star? Anybody see it? I'm sure some of you, some of you saw it, especially if you go back a little bit. You have the luxury of hitting like the 15 second thing or whatever. I think with my job I accounted for enough extra money. That will still hit a hundred thousand even if I had like an infraction like that. We should be okay. My goodness, I am really going out of the way here. That GPS had me going the wrong way. It said cars and or passenger cars and trucks. I'm most certainly a truck. This is the side that I should be on. Morning. Let me over, bro. Thanks for nothing. I guess I can just stay in this lane for now. Again? I gotta be really careful. <laughs> I'm gonna end up at $99,900. Just watch. That cop needs to go on and get. Every time I hit 60 miles an hour, he hits me for 300 bucks. That sucks. This game's like um, mentally exhausting. <laughs> Just like driving is in real life. It's like mentally exhausting. I'm still 152 miles away. I'm not getting any closer. There's 151, thankfully. I just take a massive detour. It sent me back two hours, basically. An hour and a half. Just because there was an accident on the exit that I was trying to take. I guess that happens in real life, too. Oh, God, I'm, I'm up at 54 miles an hour. I better watch out. The cops probably still be on you. Somebody's behind me. I don't know if that's him or not. I'm going 57. I actually hit the brakes. Okay, I think, I think I'm good with the police. Can I get a radar detector? I wish. That'd be nice. I'm going 62 again. He hit me twice there, though. So I'm, I can only assume that he was right behind me. I think you only get hit with the, the speeding if the cop sees you. But I'm not certain with that. We'll just coast it down this mountain. We're definitely going to Los Angeles. So we want to be in the middle lane here. Should be all clear. Oh, you guys want to see what I'm hauling. Some type of mixed tank or something like that. I have no idea what it is. No idea what that thing is. It's actually harder to drive outside the truck, though. Alright, getting off the next exit, supposedly. I going exactly? I don't even know. Bakersfield? Is that where I'm going? I can never remember my destination. I'm just like, hey, I'm driving to California. Whatever. I'll get to where I'm going. Not 
a big fan of these hill stops. I'm trying to keep it coasting a little bit so I have a little bit of speed. Because if you come to a complete stop there, you are a, you're a dead man. It's not super smooth. Hey now. Sir. Sir, you just pulled out in front of me. Nice little detour. Go by the donut place. Oh, it's a hot dog. <laughs> I thought that was a donut. I'm like, oh. It's a hot dog. It's a circular hot dog. Fascinating. Let's take it up around the mountain. Come on, you can do it. This is definitely the out of the way way. Oh, I wonder if I should have fueled up with gas. Or diesel, I should say. I have like a quarter of a tank. I just noticed that. Probably wasn't expecting to take this massive detour. Hopefully I can make it. Imagine I run out of gas. It should be okay though, I think. I do have two hours of driving out of me, still. 100 miles, do I have enough range? It's gonna be a little sketch. There is a gas station up here. I've never, I don't think I've ever filled up at the gas station. And do I have to pay for it if I do? I don't know what to do. Should I risk it? God, filling this truck up is going to be a fortune, isn't it? Maybe it just auto-fills. Um, use the following buttons. Price, 438 gallons. I have to stop the engine. Uh, press and hold the following key to fill the fuel tank. How many gallons should I put in? I don't even know. Just spent a hundred dollars. If I'm if I miss my mark, it's because of this. I'm gonna be so jacked. God, I almost need nine thousand dollars. I'm I'm just gonna go with that. How do I get out of this? Start up the Okay, I God knows if that was a smart choice or not. I just put twenty five gallons into it. I'm probably gonna end up below my $100,000 target now with my speeding violations and with putting some gas in there, but I didn't want it to run out. Tumbleweeds. A great way to earn money is Special Transport DLC. If you bought it from Steam, which is a lot of fun. You know, I, I bought this game from Steam. I didn't buy anything extra, though, because I wasn't sure if I would like the game or not. I was like, you know, I just wanted to try it out. I paid five dollars for this game. I 100% got my money's worth. So the next Steam sale that happens, I'm going to download Euro Truck Simulator 2 and maybe some DLC packs for this as well. Because I do enjoy it. I have fun with it. People seem to enjoy watching it. You guys, you guys have, have spoken pretty clearly by the by the views and stuff. So it's pretty cool. Not a popular game at all. General, like if you go on, if I were to stream this on Twitch right now, I'd probably be the number one streamer of American Truck Simulator, which could be a good good position to be in, I suppose. Maybe I should one of these days throw a stream up over there just to uh, see if new people want to come over to YouTube to watch. Okay, we've got a. Uh, 
75 miles at 5.8 miles per gallon. I certainly don't know exactly how much fuel we have left. That detour really set us back a bit, a bit the two hours of driving. I didn't check the mileage, but it was a lot. I think I need like 9,000 for this to hit, put me over 100. I think I'm going to be just short, probably. Due to ex unforeseen expenses on my travels. We shall see. I guess we'll have something to work for next time. As I snake my way through California here. Just on these random back roads. It's kind of fun. This to me is better than the highway driving because you get a little more action. There's no other cars out here. I can just be sending it all over the place. It's neat. My turn's coming up 52 miles away. Getting on the highway once more. Barstow. Is that where I'm going? God knows. I think I would have been okay with fuel. I don't know though. It was, was kind of neat filling up. I've never done that before in the game. Very expensive. I guess I'll learn that when I get my own truck. I'm going to have to probably fill that thing up all the time. Hopefully the payouts are bigger. Because I should be getting all of the money. Not just like the driver fee, but like all the money from the trips. And that'll be nice. And I'll have to figure out how to sleep. Because I think your driver has to sleep. And then I'll have to fill the truck up and do all the work that's that's associated with that. Glad I didn't get pulled over there. I was driving erratically. And I'm going one mile over the speed limit. My chat just disappeared on me. close. Way out here in the desert. Driving whatever this thing is. A mixed tank, I think it said it was. I don't even know what I'm driving. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just along to the quest for 100k. Like I said, I think we're going to be we're gonna be just short because it was like 8,800 or 8,900 or something like that. Ooh, the cop making the pass up here. Dangerous. Dangerous. Luckily, nobody coming. Endangering our entire lives here. They should let you drive buses too, that'd be kind of cool. There's a bus simulator. I think Andy plays that game. I wonder what that'd be like driving around, dropping people off at the bus stop, picking people up, trying not to hit pedestrians. Be more of like a city driving simulator than a one where I'm driving across these vast distances like this. Oh, and that's the thing with Euro Truck Simulator as well. The graphics are much better. It's like a newer game. It has different trucks in it too. Some flat nose trucks. Hey, we gotta try to get a clear shot here if we can. It's gonna be a challenge. Got a lot of vehicles coming through. 
so close yet so far. I'm only uh, I'm seven minutes away, four miles. I'm gonna go right after this red jeep. Their distances are kind of crazy, aren't they? Like, that's four miles. I'm just going to the end of this road. This is it. We made it. My gosh, that felt like a long drive. That felt like a haul. Literally. Literally and figuratively. Okay, let's, let's slow her down here. I am definitely not going to be parking this. Let's just see what it looks like. Nope. <laughs> These junkyard ones with the with the weird um, stuff in the middle. I mean, I could totally do that. I don't know if you can even see my cursor, but I'd probably drive it back behind this thing and then up around, and I think I could do that, but not with the wheel. Again, this will be the last time that I use the wheel. It was fun to try, and I, I knew people probably want to see it, and I, I figured I'd get asked about it. Let's see how we did. 89.55. Let's see what that puts us at. It's going to be so darn close. Did we get it? <gasps> we have a hundred thousand twenty nine dollars. Thank God I didn't put like four more gallons of gas into that truck. One hundred thousand twenty nine dollars. We hit our goal. That's pretty freaking awesome. I'm so excited to to get my own truck. I would love like Kenworth, like the one you see there, or a Peterbilt. Those are my two favorites. I like the old school vintage look, like with the square headlights in the front and just like keeping it really old. That feels good to me, but man, that was that was pretty darn good uh, good fun today. I don't know how long. We, oh my gosh, two hours we just hit. That was um, that was neat. I, I enjoyed that. Even with the steering wheel, that was a nice experience. Just trying something a little different. Very very different than Gran Turismo Seven racing with this, um, but it works. You just have to really, I think, get the get the key key configurations down and figure out what buttons you want to do because there's a whole face of buttons on this thing. So you get that figured out and then maybe use the mouse, maybe you use like a little bit of um, the uh, keyboard, that's what it is. You use the keyboard with it as well and I think you could you can make this exactly the way you want it. I personally, like with this game especially, I think that the, the controller is the way to go because you can move the, the view around a little bit easier using the right stick. You can leave the truck, see the back of it, back things in and I, I think it's uh, it's pretty cool. So uh, next episode of this, which I'm not sure when it's going to be because I have so many games that I like to play and stuff. Next episode of this, we're going to be hopefully getting our own truck. We need to get to like 109 or 119,000, which is only like two jobs. Like we hit two decent jobs like what we just did. I have enough money to get a truck. And then I own my own company. And then we start doing runs and see what the game does from there because it's, it's going to change a little bit. Right now I'm just doing little quick jobs, but I feel like once I have my own truck and I own it, then I'm gonna have like a little more skin in the game and we'll, we'll kind of see like how it transforms what I choose to do and where we go. I think it's gonna be great. And we can all hope for a Steam sale really soon, so then I'll, I'll get the DLC for this, and then we'll get Euro Truck Simulator 2, and we'll just, we'll just keep like, keep stacking it on top of each other. And one thing we won't do is let that Clark man drive, because that man is, he's a menace out here. We'd have had $105,000 if it wasn't for that guy. But, uh, you know, maybe we'll let him, we'll let him try it out. We'll just, you know, one crash, he's done, but we, we let him back in to try it because everybody deserves a second chance. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me on this journey in American Truck Simulator, Episode 6, Trucking with Greg. I hope you mother truckers have a wonderful evening wherever you're at and uh, keep on trucking. Man, we got the outros for this. So good. So good. See you guys. Take care.